Hi there everyone and welcome to Tech Cravers. In this video I thought we would check out the entire lineup of new Fitbit watches. It's this super lightweight budget model Inspire 3, the best selling all arounder and most cost efficient model Versa 4, as well as the follow up to last year's high end model the Sense 2. I'm gonna go through some specifications and comparisons and maybe give you a better idea which one would fit you the best both budget wise and utility wise. But first let's unbox them. Now let's dive into some key specs and features. The Fitbit Inspire 3 has among other things a bright color display for sharp stats all day, a 24-7 heart rate monitor that will track important data like calorie burn, sleep stages, resting heart rate and more, red and infrared sensors that tracks SpO2. SpO2 tells you how well blood oxygen is distributed in your body which can help you understand potential changes in your wellness. It will have battery life for up to 10 days. It identifies changes in skin temperature which can be related to activity, illness, menstrual cycles and more. If your heart rate is above or below usual range you get notified in the Fitbit app. 
It automatically tracks how long you sleep each night and time spent in light, deep and REM sleep stages. The Versa 4 has all the features from the Inspire 3 but in a beautiful smartwatch execution. So what makes it differ from Inspire 3 except from the obvious physical appearance? It has a much better multipath optical heart rate sensor for even better measure, an altimeter which is an instrument used to measure the altitude of an object above a fixed level, in example the sea level, built-in GPS meaning you can see pace and distance on your wrist, no phone needed, built-in speakers and microphone for wrist calls, answer calls on your wrist, send calls to voicemail and adjust volume when your phone is nearby. An ambient light sensor which will help your watch determine how bright it needs to be depending on if you're in a bright lit environment or not. Last but certainly not least is of course the Fitbit Sense 2. Of course it has all the features from the Inspire 3 and Versa 4. From a distance it's hard to tell the difference between the Versa 4 and the Sense 2. The main difference are more apparent in their functions than in their physical appearance. There are some small differences but they are small and you have to have the devices side by side to notice them. They both have the same gorgeous AMOLED screen and the same internals overall. The extra $70 that the Sense 2 costs is motivated through more advanced health tracking sensors and tools, which basically means it has two more tools in the toolbox, a EDA sensor to help measure your stress levels and a ECG sensor that can be used to check your heart's rhythm and electrical activity. I also want to take this opportunity to mention the most exciting new feature to hit both the Versa 4 and the Sense 2 and that is support for Google Maps and Google Wallet. Though not available at launch, these two Google favorites will be available on Fitbit smartwatches by the end of the year. That means access to turn-by-turn -turn directions on your wrist and the convenience of digital payments everywhere that Google Pay is accepted. Now for a quick weight comparison. The Inspire 3 is extremely light, as you can see it weighs a mere 20 grams which is ridiculously lightweight. This is of course awesome if you want to wear something on your wrist without really noticing it being there. The Versa 4 weighs in at double as much at 39 grams. It's a much bigger device but with its low profile it's still gonna be a very comfortable watch to wear on your wrist. And as you can see and as I've already told you there is basically no physical differences between the Versa 4 and the Sense 2. So physical attributes shouldn't be something you consider if you're choosing between them. That's been it for this very quick unboxing, comparison and first impression of the new Fitbit lineup of trackers and smartwatches this year. Are you getting any of these yourself? Let me know which one of the Inspire 3, Versa 4 and Sense 2 you're most interested in in a comment down below. I'm gonna test these for a while myself before deciding, but I think I'm leaning towards the Versa 4. Anyway, don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it and consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't for more wearable content in the future. Thanks for watching.